morning, good afternoon, good evening. Interested to the time zone by which you are viewing this video, I welcome you to this YouTube channel. And as we have on our screen, we want to give us a demo on how we can set up a VLAN trunk on Microsoft devices. From from what we have on our screen, we have a, 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 a topology comprising two switches and four end devices. But before we go into the configuration proper, let me just do a brief um, description of what a VLAN is. VLAN is an acronym of a Virtual Local Area Network and is a means of breaking a collision domain. Unlike a hub network where everything belongs to a singular collision domain, which will lead to increments in bandwidth consumption, thus affecting the um, performance of the network devices, switches are being invented to take care of that disadvantage of a hub network. And um, on VLAN, for the, this VLAN trunk configuration, um, we can see that we have some connections on our screen whereby we label some as an access link and a particular connection label as a trunk link. Um, the one for access link means that it can only permit one VLAN, and VLAN have been designated using numbers. In other words, this connection between switch A and PC1 is um, permitting only VLAN 20. The same thing for um, the connection on ETA 10 and PC2, and similar for what we have on switch B as well. We can see that there is a link labeled as trunk, which is um, the connection between switch A and switch 2. This means that a trunk link will permit more than one VLAN, or a trunk link can carry more than one VLAN. In other words, for this our own um, demo, this particular trunk link will permit VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. That's just the basic difference between a trunk link and an access link, or a trunk port and an access port in a VLAN setup. A trunk port will permit more than one VLAN, while an access port will only permit a singular VLAN. So for us to set up our devices for the permission of both trunk and access um, link, we're going to the switch proper. So from switch A, we are doing our configuration using the command line. In the first time setup, the login detail is admin or password. Then I have to type my new password. I'm using version 7.16.2. I need to label this switch. Let me also um, bring up switch B on the screen and do the configuration simultaneously, one after the other. The first thing to do for this setup is to create a bridge. And to do that, in my command line, I just type interface bridge, add name equals to trunk. Let me call it trunk. Do the same thing on switch B. The next step after creating a bridge is to add ports to the bridge and specifying the PVID parameter. To do that, let's go to the bridge menu proper. Add. So what am I adding? I'm adding my interface. This interface is the trunk port, which is a beta 2. Then I'm adding it to which bridge? I'm adding it to the bridge with label as a trunk. I'll repeat the same procedure for switch A. So 
the next step i'm still under this um, particular menu i need to specify my access ports and their vlan um, numbers so the access ports are it's a 9 and it's a 10 as you can see from the screen it's a 10 and it's a 9 so My PVID for it's a nine is the villain number, and that is a villain twenty. Another which bridge from do the same thing for it's a ten. So I'll create so I'll repeat the same process for switch B. Interface parameter is wrong. Let's write it at 10. I just type the value. Alright. So that's um, the post and then specifying the PVID for the access post. So I did not specify any value for it are true but by default is one that means that um, you cannot have uh, one is like your native villain and uh, you cannot actually assign it so the next step is to specify the tag and attack ports but this will be done under the interface bridge villain menu so we do this Tagging it at two and I'm tagging it at six. No, sorry, it's a nine and it's a ten. It's a nine and the bridge. Is and I do the parameter that you need to supply villain ID for it. For it a nine, let me confirm again. The villain ID is twenty. This villain equals twenty. We repeat the same thing for it a ten. Again. System for I'm in the same configuration on A. So now I was the
the same thing. You can turn. I'm tagging it also. We are tagging. Um, step is to enable VLAN filtering. You can see that um, from the parameters on our bridge, the VLAN filtering is on. The option here is no, so we need to change it to yes. But we only have one bridge, so you go to set, then the number which is zero, then the parameter VLAN filtering. Yes, repeat the same thing. On switch B. So with this step, we are finished configuring our trunk and access port on microT devices. To now test our end devices, we need to apply some IP addresses and ping across to see maybe. Um, each device in its own VLAN can only communicate with the other device in the same VLAN. Let's test between PC2 and PC4. So this PC2, this PC4, and I think 192.168.10.4 Yeah, it is reachable. So from this PC4, can I ping .2, PC2? Oh, I didn't issue the ping command. So this means that in the same VLAN can communicate even though they are in different locations once your configuration is okay it should communicate let us also test between PC1 and PC3 let me put PC3 here let me put PC1 here So let me give it an IP address of 192.168. This is in VLAN 20. Call it with no call it as a 3. This is PC1. Let's call it an IP 192.168.20. So let me see if I can ping. Um, the devices on VLAN 20, if they can communicate across. This is also reachable. So we can confirm reachability between devices on the same VLAN. So can we also can we try and confirm reachability? if the devices on different VLAN can talk to each other. So this is um, PC2, the address is 10. So let me just try PC2 and PC, let me go to topology again. So let us see if PC1 can communicate with um, PC, PC4. 
this should be PC1. Let me look for PC4. PC3. Okay. See, PC1 and PC3. Let's try it. If PC1 and PC3 can um, have reachability. So PC1 is 10 dot so PC3 is 20 dot So from PC3, can I ping 192.168.10.0? No gateway found. Can I also ping uh, 192.168.20.33? The same error, which means that for um, if you have devices in different VLANs, they cannot communicate across except you have a router in between. And we are building on this topology. So, in our next video, we are going to introduce a router. I will confirm reachability between VLANs, between devices that are in different VLANs. If the devices are in different VLANs and there is no router between them, they cannot um, communicate because they are in the same collision domains. Devices in the same VLANs are in the same collision domain. So you have not, the broadcast domain has not been broken and that is the function of the router to break the broadcast domain. So in our next video, we'll be adding a router to this our simple topology and we will test across uh, different VLANs. It depends on how you want to set up your network. You can permit um, devices in the same VLAN or in different VLANs to communicate. You can also deny it. Depends on how you want to do it. But this is just uh, like the basis which you need to get familiar with so that uh, once you start building your network, and you have this simple business you can then expand on it so i thank you for staying with us to this time i want to appeal that you kindly subscribe to our channel for more videos on more interesting topics on networking kindly subscribe like and share so that we can grow this channel i appreciate all of us and i hope to see us soon thank you very much